Hey guys, welcome to Choices Talk Show, and I'm your host Nirban Day. So uh, today I'm going to be talking over something really interesting, something really important. So if you're following Choices blog post, you would probably notice that on September 23rd they released this that My Two First Loves Chapter 41: A Disturbing Arrest. So I want to talk about it for a second. So here's a sneak peek. It says Edmund Burke once said, "The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing." Now, what this is, we wanted to provide some context for why the My Two First Loves MTFL writers choose to include the sensitive content in Chapter 41. Spoilers ahead. Now, players who choose the black. Now, the questioner says the players who choose the black version of Noah can choose to witness a disturbing arrest that evokes the struggle of the Black Lives Matter movement (BLM). Now, why did the writers choose to include this scene, and how was it appropriate approached? Bray said, "We chose to include this scene, but to shock, not to shock or sensationalize, but to present a reality." Eric Garner, Javier Ambler, Willie Way Banks, James Brown, Brian Williams, Elijah McCain, George Floyd, and entirely too many others are all black men whose last words were "I can't breathe." For black people, run-ins with the police can be deadly, and whether a crime has been committed or not, no one person has the right to be a judge, jury, and executioner. In the flashback, Noah is absolutely in the wrong. But we have spent forty chapters getting to know him. We have seen how sweet he is with his sister, how much he supports his mother, how fierce his feelings are for our main character. He plays a role in other people's lives, just like everyone named above. Now, guys, just to mention here why I'm doing this. Now. Now people would probably say as a critics that whoa wait a minute you were too much of a political now here's the thing we need to take a break and pause here and think for a moment like since when caring about people become political like since when it is political since when caring about people since when saying speaking up against what is wrong has become political since when it has become political never okay So since when it happened? Never. We know. We don't know that. So now, if this is the alternative reality we're re- living, in, we need to get out of here. Now, here's one alert. Now, the police brutality. Now, here they go on to say that in one point, when Coral is asked, or I think Brianna, that I think in this day and age, it's difficult to portray all cops as heroes when reality is so much more complicated. In many cases, black men in Noah's position are not treated kindly. So we approach the scene with the intent to reflect their re- reality rather than ignore it. Now, again, the same question here. I'm gonna ask that since when caring about people, since when speaking up for speaking up and for what is right and calling out what is wrong. So since when it has uh, is since when it's wrong? Since when? Since when? I don't know. Maybe you know. Let me know. But this is the thing that now one thing I would also like to say that the questioner asks on other note. Another note: To what extent do you feel choices should reflect reality versus with fulfillment? Now here is a really great answer by Bree. He says. Mm, or she, I don't know, but they say like before I worked at Pixelberry, I was a choices player, so I know that it's like to be excited. What it what it's like to be excited to disappear into Cardonia past and present. But when making a commitment to represent people, you have to really see them, why they are, what they are, who they are, and the struggles they face. Otherwise, it's not representation; it's tokenism. Since these like won't have a place in every story, but before we ask players to dive into the worlds of we create, we also have a responsibility to ask them to get a good look at the ones we are in. And I totally support this thing because let me again tell you this thing that again always ask this question. I'm saying it again and again. Since when caring about people and since when speaking up for what is right is wrong? It is not. It's it's always the, that way and it's always going to be that way. And if anybody tells you the other way, they are wrong. And this is not a political statement because this is not. This is just again. Now you probably say like, okay, like I accept now. At one place, I told you like they say like it's hard to see cops. Uh, you know they represent them as hero, but that doesn't mean that cops are all bad because that's just one case. Like you would probably see in most wanted in other cases where cops helped, but you know one of them is wrong. You know so now 
this is just it, it's like wildfire like if something in a department like if you have uh, you know in your classroom one bad boy the news spreads faster like if uh, uh, let's take for example if you do something bad the news like you have done something bad probably have stolen something you would spread farther it, 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 would, it, would, it would it would spread faster than if you would have done something good like if you have returned someone's purse people, fewer people would be talking about this than people who would be talking about your misdeeds your wrongdoings that is how it is but again that being said the reality is true so now people would say okay choices what are you doing like we're here not to face our reality every day we face the reality we know you know you got dude i got here our news channel we got this David Pacman show, progressive shows or stuff like that. So why would we tune into choice to get away from that? I know there are stories, but you know how to get it. Even choice stories, like stories, what are stories? Stories are basically, you know, they're mirror. They're the representation. They're the referendum of what's happening in your world. Like you also, what, what in stories that if you go to the story of like, let's say the, you know, like any, like the blades of light and shadow, it, it's it's from past. But if you look there, you would even see that that story is also the good characters, bad characters. So it's the same. That's same our real world. So we need to appreciate that. And Black Lives Matter say, okay, all lives matter. We all know all lives matter. Like a brutality against violence against anybody. Like if it's a violence in against, like uh, in in response of its violence, we do condemn. And choices do condemn violence, any kind of violence. But you know, like. Like violence is not acceptable in any form. It is not acceptable, and it's right. Like if you know what we see, like definitely he committed a wrongdoing. But like, look, like there is, you know, the police. Like we don't call this. I don't know. Like if you guys know, we don't call it jail in that sense. Like jails or cells, prisons. So it is something like it's a disease. In you know, we send them to the jail not to punish them. Sometimes the crime is so hard, and sometimes criminal never learn. But sometimes when people go to jail, they transform. It transforms them. It transforms their thinking. It transforms their reality. They think about that. All right, okay. So I have done something. And people have, you know, they have, they, you know, they have turned a new leaf. And it, it, it's, it's, it's happening. It has happened. And they have been turned to the totally opposite way by those jails, those environment, you know, working hard there. But again, so it has drawbacks. So it's both way. But, you know, if you arrest someone, whether they're guilty or not, you have no right to kill them or to, like, uh, really, like, do anything bad with them unless or until they are harmful. Like, if they're trying to kill you, then definitely self-defense. But, you know, in like Noah, in case of Noah, in all those cases, the names that they mention. In all those cases, it weren't the case. It wasn't the case. Those weren't the case. So that's I need to appreciate. So I came up with this because I thought that, and I had stuff to pick a little bit. But because what they're doing, they're basically including this real things a little bit, little bit into the stories, and I think that's really appreciable. When this first happened, they said that we're not going to post something like, okay, Black Lives Matter, let's, and then we're going to, we're, then we forget it. We're not the kind. And that's why I like Choices Pixelberry Store, because they said that, like, they, like they could have just, uh, you know, posted something like, okay, Black Lives Matter, and then they could have just uh, forgotten about it. But they didn't do that. What they did instead, they included it in a story really well, and they represented it quite nicely, and I really like it. So that's all, guys, and I think it should, and let me know what you think. So, and they, at, first, at, last, at last, they say that thank you to Bree and the entire team for ap approaching this scene with love, heart, and diligence to our players as we journey toward the, each new chapter. We hope that you continue to enjoy the rest of my first loves. So that's all, uh, you know, and one, at one place, Bray said that this scene wasn't done willy-nilly. A lot of time and thought went into it from the writing stage all the way until it made it to, to your screens. Tons of people lent their voices to make sure that the scene came out the best way we know how. And if you choose to read it, I hope it resonates in a way that's safe and impa impactful. So it's safe and it's impactful. Impactful, De definitely. So, so they did it in a safe and an impactful way. Like if it weren't safe or impactful, like people would have like, oh my gosh, this is too much violence. So they didn't do that, I guess. And there were a skip option. You could have skipped it, you know. So and they did take voices from the writing stage all the way until it made it to your screens you know they say like a lot of time and thought went into it from the writing stage all the way until it made it to your screens so that's the really thing because uh, they gave it the time you know all the way until it made it to your screen so i really appreciate it and um you know let me know guys like what you think about this but i think what pixelberry did it was a 
pretty damn good job. Now let me know as of what your thoughts are. And don't forget to subscribe and become a member. And again, like uh, I wasn't being political or anything because this is a general issue. Because again, I kept seeing this uh, sentence again and again. I say again, like since when thinking about people, since when caring about people, since when calling out the bad, since when uh, you know standing up for and speaking up for the right thing, uh, uh, you know, is political. Since when it is political? Since when it is political? I ask. Since when it's political? Since never. Okay, so just remember this, guys, and let me know. And I hope like you enjoy reading those chapters, and you, you, uh, let me know your views, what you think about it. Okay, I, I, it's just my personal opinion, and it varies. And I'm, I'm, I'm up for open conversation. My Twitter is linked below. Tell me like if you don't agree with me, or if you think the other way. Like they, like what, what do you, what do you think about these things, guys? Just let me know. And do you think that uh, choices? choices uh this uh, pixel re so they should uh you know approach this kind of things uh, in future not just with black lives matter but with other things other stuff that are happening you know not just in you know this uh, uh you know this uh this type of thing but other things that are happening like uh you know mass killing and brutal you know things or like how you know dangerously you know uh, as like we're growing so vulnerable and we're not like something is we're we're losing faith in the humanity so to appreciate those issues or like to appreciate the climate change and global warming that they have already been doing because they have released um, the green jam mobile book that is uh uh, rising tide so what do you think about this all realistic approaches and you know there is not many you can draw perfect line between reality and uh you know ima- imaginary stories or like uh you know those uh cardonias you know so you, you have to think about it guys and uh like you know those royal romances i'm talking about so like you know there is always similarity so and there will be so thank you guys appreciate become a member grab a membership subscribe it become a member keep updated with videos and let me know what you think about this video in the comment box thank you guys bye and uh you know just uh, stay safe out there i wish you best and uh just stay safe and let's hope for humanity like our world is divided you know, everything is divided we're fighting always we're quarreling we don't want to quarrel we don't want to stop we're all brother and sister we want to live closely in our brotherhood sisterhood whatever it is and uh you know choices it is a place where we come definitely to get some you know calmness get some uh, uh you know you know assurance and get some you know hope and so in any way whether they're representing a reality or whether they're like uh, basically representing something fancy we always hope to get that and i hope you guys read choices too and you hope i, I hope that you guys enjoy it too so just uh let's uh stay happy together and let's uh enjoy our holiday seasons with a you know happy smile in our faces and uh, let's try to you know sort of distribute the happiness to uh spread love guys spread love bye